It's time for the Jim and Terry Show. The Jim and the Terry, back together, in person. That's Terry speaking, and I am Jim, and we're solemn at this moment because we're going to be right up front with you. We're going to let you know what you get by listening to our show. <laughs> the benefits of what we have to give you. And we know you're not paying attention. That's you, ones and twos. Get with it. Lend us an ear, because we have something important Friends, to say. Friends, Romans fellow podcasters and listeners around the world. Actually, what you're witnessing is a nervous breakdown between Terry and me, and we haven't got a clue why we're even doing this. <laughs> so we decided to do a show on the benefit of tuning in to the Jim and Terry show. The first benefit for me, and one of the reasons why I suggested that you and I do this, and I believe it's over four years now that we've been wow. sharing a coffee pressing record on a couple of microphones, and talking about all kinds of, well, primarily current events. But really, what do we get together for? To uh, chat, you, to socialize. You, two retired guys with too much time on their hands. This is true. Uh, so so I guess my answer being the, brec <laughs> the breakfast I get is that's not good enough, is it? That's pretty shallow. You come once a week to get breakfast. Yeah, that's yeah. Pretty, that's pretty awesome. Well, it's like what they do in schools, you know, like what, what is it? The that breakfast at? program. Yeah, the breakfast program. This is your breakfast program to me. <laughs> you know, and, Maybe and I stupid need to me, expand. instead of just going to a restaurant, I drive all the way to Bob Cage and have breakfast. Well, what if we picked a bigger venue, like rented a church hall and put a row of 10 seats? Do you think we could gather 10 seats for the banter of the Jim and Terry show with a live audience? Uh, if we really pushed it for a month and worked like hell to get those people there yes but then the next that means show we would have to drive yeah them. the next show we would have 10 meals laid out and nobody there to digest but it. if we rounded people up we could bring them in our vehicles and then have an audience this is becoming what you call work <laughs> And, and, and I, li I like the deficit, idea. Deficit disorder or something. Well, we were talking about my my son's podcast, Staying Spiritual. My son's uh, podcast, Staying Spiritual, and you and me were talking about the investment, what they what they put into that, and and it's pretty impressive yes. to me. Yes. But you said to me, I ain't doing that. <laughs> there we go. This is where the buck stops. Yeah. What buck? We never got what, a buck. What, what do we got? What do we got here? Just like what kind of wood is this, Terry? This the table? cheapest I could find. The cheapest you could find, but it's nice, you know, and it holds my coffee. It's a good table. It does. So chin chin, my friend. Yeah, That's I'm very very impressed with a little globe. I'm very very <laughs> impressed with uh, your, your your this as a sound studio for you. It, uh, it, it, you got all these multi screens and everything. It looks like you're ready to go to like. Reminds me of like the Star. Uh, what is it? SpaceX's Dragon. Oh, actually, doesn't that it look does. like that? Yeah. yeah. Well, I need one of those seats in it. Well, we just need two recliners, and, and we could really go. We've got to get ourselves those. Are we? Are we going into SpaceX, or are we going to stick with why we do what we? Oh, do? Oh no, we're going to stick with why we're doing what we okay, do. Okay, because th that could be another episode. Okay, um, it's Jim's birthday coming up later on in the month of March, and it's ominously situated after the Ides of March, which is, of course, when we celebrate Julius Caesar, getting a knife in the back. <laughs> my, 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 latest, my latest song, by the way, has Ides of March in it. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Well, not to drop anything away from your surprise, but maybe we could do a special uh, Jim and Terry show, Jim birthday podcast in which SpaceX actually launches a suborbital. It could, it could on one of my birthdays. It could. It could launch because you got two. I have two birthdays. This is yes. I was born on the seventeenth, and I was born on the eighteenth. Wow. So uh, I'm so one like, of those rare people. <laughs> you got delivered. No, send them back, and then <laughs> okay <laughs> now. Well, what happened, as you know, real quickly, I was born on the seventeenth. Uh, my mother knew that at St. Patrick's Day, uh, but when we sent away for my birth certificate, it came back saying the eighteenth. She figured just the nurse wrote down the wrong information. We left it at that. I celebrated officially on the 18th. Actually, but a lot of my friends and family, they call me on the 17th. Good for them. And I yeah. think it's, that's more power to you, Jim. You get double the presence, double oh, yeah. the fun. The Eagle maniac, it works good. Yeah. But this podcast is the idea behind it is, we wanted it to be like two guys just meeting at Tim Hortons, getting their coffee, sitting down and go, did you hear? Or what do you think of? Or, you know, uh, 
Putin's up to it again, or I can't stand those conservatives, and I go, well, you know, I don't mind those conservatives. Those slimy liberals. <laughs> yeah, whatever. And, and, and so we just talk about yeah. the events out there. And in this series of shows since I've been back to Bob Cage, and a lot of it's been the end of the world, and it's been uh, U- UAPs. UAPs, unidentified aerial, aerial phenomena. Right, right. And, uh, but that's what's in the news. Mm-hmm. And that's what we see. Uh, so that's what we talk about here. Now, the thing is, is the people don't know the secret codes and stuff that we're putting in these conversations. And if they did that, and for the first person who can figure it out, we will send you. Do we have any more cups to give away? We don't do we? Okay, we have <laughs> you can buy send. this one. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We're sending you nothing. That's right. The Jim and Terry show mug. Uh, yes, that's strategically placed on my desk. Yeah, you, you, are, you realize we don't have cameras and nobody um, can see that. Yeah, but I'm describing it. We also have a deck of business yes, cards. Yes. Nice full color business cards. I have a deck. Yeah. So, <laughs> well, together we're each playing with half a deck. <laughs> okay. Uh, the Jim and Terry Show. Banter about nothing, but it does take me back to the old radio shows where you dialed in and you go, yeah. shh, 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 CBC, Radio Canada. The, yeah. You that's did a, that well. Yeah. That's us. Do you remember the static you used yeah, to get yeah. in between stations? Yeah, or maybe I you still get static. I'm my brain's full of it. Uh, <laughs> but we've gone to a couple of coffee, uh, like a brewery and uh, coffee breweries. And uh, <laughs> yes, we got to specify. <laughs> Uh, you know, that one time we went to the brewer, we can't talk about that. That's no. right. <laughs> <laughs> no, we went up to, uh, I'm going to say Huntsville, yeah. to uh, Muskoka Coffee. Down to Lindsay. And we went down to Lindsay. They're out of business, by the oh, way, a victim okay. of COVID and not being able to keep things together. And I think they had a flood as well, something. Uh, I was reading on their website to see if they were still, I thought it would be good for us to yeah, yeah. go down. And now that COVID's over, we could drop in, but there's nothing to drop into. When things go south, man, they go south. And How far south? South of the 49th? Well, yeah, and that makes me sad. I feel bad. Everybody gets into these businesses thinking there's this is going to be a great success. Even if it's just, come on, the common person coming for a coffee, surely we can keep the place packed. But so much competition. A new place opened up in Peffalo called uh, Taps and Tracks. Beautiful place. I know the chef. Uh, great food. Beautiful atmosphere. Brand new. Sure, it's going to take business from some of the other places. It has to. Yeah, that's not big enough to support everybody. This I, town ain't big enough for I the think, both of I us. I think it could be. I mean, I'm not going to mention the company that mm-hmm. actually banned mm-hmm. me from their pre- premises, but. <laughs> is, is that the one that you're speaking of? The new one? No, no, the new one. No, I'm fine oh. there. Oh, okay. You haven't yeah. you become a persona non grata. Yes, I'm sure I have. Okay. Is, is my fly still down? Jeez. Okay. <laughs> Okay, the Jim and Terry show, two guys who are both retired with a lot of time and in um, not just time on our hands, but thoughts. And we're both musicians. Yes, we're both doing a lot uh, uh, with that kind of stuff in our music and our producing and, and uh, a lot of thoughts about absolutely everything from religion or a lack of it to scientific advancements to political parties to the psyche of mankind and we covered the pandemic and we covered the pandemic we were skyping through some of it most of it we skyped through yeah. uh, and uh, and even uh i mean when was the last time i came here was it before, before christmas? christmas and that's because we wanted to be safe i was having my family yeah yeah coming from all other places and i didn't want to jeopardize the safety of anybody for unknown reasons not that you would intentionally do it but you are far more yeah. social than i tend to be and i didn't want to have foreign particles floating yes. around well, i'm not as cautious as you that's right. for absolute sure and the last time where i was going to come here it was my suggestion maybe i don't come well that was for the weather that was for the it? weather yeah, big the weather. blizzard that day yeah, and yeah, I'm getting to that stage now. I don't want to battle the elements. So of look at all do. the things that we've covered in our four years of podcasting, and most of it has been global events. We've covered the uh, Putin invasion of Ukraine. We've covered well, the Olympics. We covered Trump. We've oh, nonstop Trump. Yeah, and again, uh, some of the stuff is time sensitive. I, I had somebody comment that time will tell. Yes, time will tell some things. But in the meantime, 
If you don't act upon what you know or believe to be true, then we are going to find consequences to those actions. And whether that is the reaction of COVID, are you going to get vaccinated, not vaccinated, wear a mask, don't wear a mask, safely social distance, not safely social distance. There are consequences to every twist and turn in your journey. And here I am, knock on wood, and I'm going to knock on my noggin. I have not had COVID or a cold for over three years. Yeah, I had. Uh, I didn't have an had a cold. I don't think, but I I had COVID. I got COVID, and uh, I got worse than all of it was that stupid uh, vertigo when that hit me. I that, thought I was, that, literally thought I was going to die, uh, and you, and you always have this slight, not worry but wonder yep. every time you're not feeling quite right. Is that what gonna is hit it? me again? Yeah, what is it that's bothering me now? No. No, no, that, that's the oh, thought yeah, yeah, yeah. in what, your head. What, yeah, is, is that, what now? Because, see, when that happened to me, I was in a, a movie theater, and I had a couple of boats of just sort of beside yourself. You went, what's that? And I got up and went to the washroom, came back. I was I'm fine. S- why did you get up if you got vertigo? No, it didn't. It came and went. Really? And I've had okay. that. I've, I've laid in bed, and that's kind of happened. I roll over, and I'm fine. But this time, by the time the, uh, 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 you know, an hour had passed, I was just throwing up and the sickest I've ever been and I couldn't st- stand up for the life of me. So part of the Jim and Terry show might be age and stage related commentary on truly what's aching and breaking these days. Yeah, and, and I don't know what even causes what happened to me on that one. Like we're victims to anything, you know yeah. what I mean? We, we've got, we've got uh, uh, I mean, look at the bird flus now breaking out right. over, in, over in Africa. And if that makes its way its way here, you know, that's deadly. That is really a deadly. We like to think that we're a global community in the sense that we're all one big family. Family of humanity. And yet, maybe we're too close. Maybe the oceans were put in place to keep Whoa. us separated. Next Ooh. on the Terry and Jim Show. Oh, the Jim and Terry. <laughs> you can have the lead. <laughs> Take care now. Bye-bye for now. Bye-bye.